diamonds in your own backyard. That's how I would describe the reports function inside of the QuickBooks accounting system. Most people have been using QuickBooks for years to track the inflow and the outflow of the expenses and the revenue and so on, but they don't really know how to get the big picture and extract insight and true value from this incredible system. Here to explain it to, to us today is Crystal Seabrandt. She's a CPA with HBE Becker Meyer Love in Lincoln, Nebraska. Thanks for helping us. I am dying to find out all the different reports that you can pull out of QuickBooks. There are a ton of reports. Yeah, so. very helpful, I think. So really anything that you think you might need is probably there. It's just, just finding it. So yeah, we're yeah. going to show you that today. All right. Well, teach us in terms of the icon interface and all the uh, text on top. Where do we go first? Okay. QuickBooks has a really great report center. So we're going to use one of the drop downs at the top. And there's an actual drop down called reports. So we're going to go to that. All right. And we're going to go to the report center. And this report center gives you a listing of all the reports that are out there. Okay. And not just the ones you see on the screen now, there are also others. To the left of your screen, you will see all of these different options. Um, if you have a report that relates to your customers, you would select customers. If you have a report that relates to your vendors, you'd select vendors. And all the different options will appear. So you'll see us kind of use that in the next couple of minutes. Wow. What a great variety and depth. Mm -hmm. Which one do we go first? What are the most important or most popular reports? Okay, there are two reports that are the most popular, and those are the profit and loss standard and the balance sheet standard. And the reason they're the most popular, they're usually what your professional consultants are going to request, meaning if you need a loan from a banker or if you're doing your taxes at the end of the year. These are the type of reports that, that those professionals want to see. I see. Should we go to the profit and loss Yeah, first? let's pull up the profit and loss. Okay, all right. Okay. So this basically shows you what your revenue and your expenses are for the period that you've selected. Right now it's just showing us month to date, but at the top here, you can change the date using your drop down menu or you can actually punch in the dates. But most, most often you'll change it to this fiscal year or this month depending on what you'd like. This actually just shows us the month to date. Right. So for this month, we've brought in $500 of revenues and we've had $2,000 of expenses. One important thing that many people often use is the modify report button. And that would be what? Up in the corner here, select modify report. Okay. And you can actually select previous period and that will give you a comparison between May and April. Great. Or this year and last year. That's really so, helpful. This is kind of where you can do that trend analysis. Yeah. Okay, well, what do we do next? Well, what other reports would you suggest? Oh, the balance let's sheet? Let's pull up our balance sheet. Now, a lot of people don't really know what a balance sheet is. Explain that to right. us, okay? A balance sheet is really, sh really shows the worth of your company. It shows your assets versus your liabilities and what that net is. So how many assets do I have? in excess of my liabilities. Okay. And assets are things like bank accounts, equipment, um, and liabilities are your loans and things like that. So let's right. There's various kinds of balance sheets. Do we normally take the standard? The standard is the okay. easiest to read. It's all, it's all totals rather than detail. Good. And again, you can change the date for what date you want to actually see this, but this just shows as of May 13, we have $8,550 in our bank account and lists out all of our other assets and liabilities. So year to date, this particular company has total assets of over 10000 Right. And, and only liabilities of $2,550. So, so they're looking good so far. Looking good, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, this is only just the tip of the iceberg. Uh, what are some of the other examples of, of great reports that uh, entrepreneurs and small business people can use to figure out how they're really doing? Okay. Two really great reports are your AR aging and your AP aging. Ah, what's coming in, what's going out? What's coming in, what's going out. Under customers and receivables, there's an AR aging summary, and this will show you what clients do I have that still owe me money, and how long have those invoices been outstanding. Right. So it really allows you to manage that cash flow. Do I need to be collecting from these customers? Are they um, meeting their obligations? Sure. Things like that. And then the vendor one is exactly opposite. Under vendors and payables, 
you go to AP Summary, and this lists who do I still owe? Whose invoices do I need to pay and when do I need to pay them? Now, Crystal, if you lined both of these two reports up together, that would be fairly helpful, would it not? Especially if they're the same amount of time intervals and so on? It would, and we'll get to a report later that will actually do that for you. Ah! Kind of a cash flow forecast. <laughs> okay. So. Like I said, QuickBooks keeps revealing more of itself the, the deeper you get into it. Right. Yeah. Um, a lot of people ask, are there other formats to the reports if you're, you're more of a visual person, right. more of a graphic person? There are a lot of graphs within QuickBooks. For instance, let's just look at this income and expense graph. Wow. H here's the visual. You know, at the top it gives you your revenue versus your expenses. So you can see in February here, your revenues were a lot less than your expenses. So Easily skimmed. So if you're putting a report together or some kind of a business plan, sometimes it can be helpful to use these things just so that you can kind of get through the plan faster. Right, exactly. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. outstanding. The colors are vivid. Mm -hmm. uh, is it pretty easy to print and format this so it can yeah. be stuck into a bound report? Definitely. And you can, again, you can always export them too. Great. Okay. So. Wow, what an incredible variety, and I'm, I'm really impressed with the graphics. One final report that I'd like to show you, and is, is kind of important in today's economy, is a lot of small business owners are asking about, is there any report related to cash flows? Ah. So there is a really great report called the Cash Flow Forecast. And again, you can make it for whatever dates you'd like, but what it will do is it'll show you in the weeks of May, what customers will owe me money versus what money I'll have to pay out to show you a net inflow or outflow. I see. Where your cash is going to go in the next few weeks. You know, and as you focus on cash flow, I have to tell you that all kinds of research has been done. If you ask entrepreneurs and small businesses why they have failed, uh, the majority of the answers tend to be in this cash flow area. Mm -hmm. They just couldn't anticipate or manage effectively the inflow and the outflow over a period of time. Right. That was a ki critical issue, and this particular report could really make a huge difference. Mm -hmm. And just to reiterate the importance of entering your transactions on a day-to-day -day or week-to-week -week basis, because if the information's not in here, it's not going to be accurate. So. Well, you know, I have to thank you so much, Crystal Seabrandt with HBE in the Lincoln, Nebraska area, because this is really what you're going for. We use the analogy that QuickBooks can be a dense, impenetrable forest, but uh, all the individual leaves uh, are opportunities for insight, little different aspects or ways to look at your business. And we finally gotten to that point, have yeah, we not? Yeah, yeah. With this report, it really tells you everything that you need to know and helps you make business decisions. Right. And in this era, uh, making great decisions, financial decisions, not so easy. Right. That's right. Thank you very much, Crystal. This is Lynn Hinderocker with Next Biz Success. QuickBooks is not that tough. You just got to follow the wizard, follow the tutorial, and stick with it. Make it part of your daily ritual and dig deep. Utilize those reports to tell you where you're really at in relationship to the past and your anticipated future. It's a great little tool. Stick with it. Keep on going and keep on growing.